What would you do if someone was stalking you? That's a decision YouTuber Near Shadows had to make while on the scariest randonautica of their lives. At this site, they come across a golden box amongst some trees and brush. What is that? No. No way. Come grab this. I got gloves. What is this? When they lift it, they see it's bound with tape and fishing line. Babe, it's like a weird box that's binded up. I kind of see. It has fishing line on it. It has fishing line. Look on it. it. I don't want to. Oh. Look at this. Oh my god. You guys see that? They examine it and discover something shocking. Whoa. What? This says. 50th anniversary on it. 50th anniversary? Look, 50th anniversary. Not kidding. Oh, wow. What does that mean? Not kidding. The art. When they open it up, this is what they find. We're gonna get into this. What the heck? It's a balloon. It's a balloon, it's a balloon that has like 61? 16. Balloons. It sounds like there's rocks it or something. Like rocks or pebbles in there, yo. What the heck? With something inside them. Do you feel anything in that one? Yeah. That one doesn't sound, that one sounds empty. There's little pieces of something in it. Let me see. Like, it almost sounds like, it almost feels like bullets or something. It's kind of weird. And this clue? It's a piece of paper. Sixth Six Street. It's like a ripped up portion of a map and it says 6th Street. Wait. Babe, we're on 6th Street. When they open the balloon, they uncover a mystery. What is that? It's a little bead and it has the number 2 on it. What do these numbers mean? Good close up. Pause this and... They then notice some people watching them. Who's this person walking over oh God, here? Are they coming over here? Come oh on, guys. Some freaking. Please, please don't come over here. Please. Oh. But they realize they're probably not here for them. What was that? I'm not touching it. Could be drugs in this neighborhood. They open up the second balloon. Oh, sure beads. these are big beads. That's what she said. Would you? <laughs> oh no! Drop the bead. The letters must mean something too, but what? A Z S. Near Shadows continues to follow this mystery of a missing person's case in their next video. I'm curious as to what these clues mean. I assume the girl who went missing was 16, judging by the balloon, and this is the 50th anniversary since she went missing. But as to the numbers and letters, I guess we'll have to wait for the series' next installment. Nobody is sure what the US forces are doing in this 2014 video taken from an undisclosed location somewhere in New Mexico apparently. Soldiers kneel down as a blast rips through the air. It looks like it hits nothing at all but then the edges of the ripple inward to reveal what could be the outline of a giant round invisible creature. Some people are claiming this is simply a drill using new technology we don't know about. Others say that this is not an exercise at all but rather a real desert battle with a creature. Listen to the noise it makes and tell me if you think this is the sound of a passing fighter jet or the terrifying roar of a real monster. Two siblings go into their room after hearing a small, unrecognizable voice call to them. In their toy trunk, they discover a bizarre looking doll that neither of them can remember putting in there. The doll remains silent until one of them goes to grab it. And the it's creepy really creepy. Baby.
They aren't sure what to make of the toy at this point, but look what happens when they have a discussion while still in its presence. Look at its little skinny legs. <laughs> that thing is like I know disturbing. It almost seems to respond to a comment about its legs by kicking twice and laughing. It's as if the toy knows what they are saying and is trying to play with their mind. Tell me whether or not you think that this could be an early warning sign of a poltergeist in their home. Mega Chris 18 and his friends know about a creepy old courthouse somewhere in Corpus Christi, Texas. They sneak in through a hole in the fence and start exploring the outside perimeter for a way into the building. Last time they were able to get in through a broken window, but they're disappointed to discover it's been boarded up since. Mega Chris 18 walks up and curiously knocks on the wood and receives an unexpected response. Hello? Hey, when I say hello, the light turned off and it turned back on. The group quickly develops a method of communication with the possible spirit using the light on their camera. Can you do that one more time? Can you do that one more time so all my friends can see that? Oh my God. <laughs> the ghost uses the camera light to respond to a series of true or false questions. They soon learn that they are talking to the spirit of a young female who is somehow trapped inside the courthouse. After a while, they feel its presence slip away and stop getting responses. I really wish I could have seen Chris's hands to see if he was messing with the light. This video could be real, but we'll never know for sure. A YouTuber named Miguel Alvarez is racing down the road at high speeds for a very good reason. He catches up to a red car and immediately gets the driver's attention. Hey! It's on fire! It's on fire! The flames quickly crawl up the vehicle and soon reach the engine. What you see here is the end result just before firefighters arrived and contained the blaze. It looks bad, but things could have been way worse. The woman could have still been inside of this vehicle, if not for the heroic actions of Miguel Alvarez and his friend. Jesse Sims and her friend use a Ouija board only to discover they are surrounded by three spirits. She claims to get dizzy and asks if it's a good spirit she's talking to. The spirit gives them a negative response, so Jesse fights her panic and asks, Is this Zozo? The pointer stays over no, it's not Zozo after all. Still, they both have a bad feeling, so they decide to ask, what do you want from us? Shut up. You, the ghost responds. A short while later, Jesse's nose begins to gush red. Things can get out of hand. This video reveals when people and things have gone just a little too far. Sometimes those darndest things send chills down our spine. This video will make you question the afterlife. Tarika Leet writes, A woman goes to her mother's grave to visit. Her little girl seems to be waving and talking to someone and even kisses them. Where are you waving at, Bye, Tariq goes on to ask if it's true that they can see into spiritual realms. The video shows a sweet girl, likely not older than two, standing near a headstone waving. She appears to be looking up into the nothingness but seeing something. She greets the invisible specter, standing on the top of the grave to get a better look. She even reaches with one pointed finger before dismounting from the grave. Some in the comments suggest that the young girl's frequency hasn't been fully compromised yet by the earth while others say that our ancestors are always with us. Do you agree? Our young ones able to visually access a frequency that we're not capable of reaching. This video seems to be proof that there really is something just beyond the veil. The SEMGHS Ghost Hunters record some interesting evidence of the paranormal during their investigation of a house in Waterford, Michigan. Nobody is anywhere near the doorway when this motion detector goes off. So tell me how this can happen. This is my shadow. Oh, 
It was one off. Then when he says hello, the motion detector fades away as orbs fall. Hello. Okay, what you are seeing right there lit up, that's the motion detector. And, it just and as they are talking about what happened, a third voice chimes in with this creepy whisper. Yeah. Bless the Ooh. It was the standard of the year. While exploring this haunted asylum, the shifting energy is unsettling. Listen closely and you might catch all the oddities and EVPs in this haunted place. As the crew first enters the dark hallway, a strange sound is recorded. And another as they enter a larger room. They get a spooky feeling by this door, and they capture an energy here. The EMF meter keeps going off in the same area. What is in this room? Whatever it is, I think it doesn't want to fully reveal itself. This doll looks innocent enough, but is it? Molly, also known as Akka, is pure evil. Here is proof. The conversation starts out simple. One of the objects I put near your vessel. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. When the paranormal investigator presses further, she receives a confirmation. Molly, can you just confirm that this is you? Yeah. She also reveals her true feelings. Are you negative and grumpy? No. Are you misunderstood? Thank you. And then the question we'd really like to know the answer to... Do you wish to harm anyone in this house? Yes. But Molly doesn't just want to harm anyone, she's got a specific person in mind. Do you wish to harm my son, Sam? Yes. It's probably time to take your son Sam and get out of Dodge. A South Korean ghost hunter named Tosachi is exploring a haunted house where seven people met a fateful end, including a husband and wife. The inside is weird and creepy in his words, and give the paranormal investigator goosebumps to explore. He knows that multiple spirits are close, he can sense them, and then one of them gets his attention. Well. Faint knocking sounds behind him are from a ghost at the window begging to be let in. This relic is keeping them away. It's a stick with thorns which, in South Korean culture, is said to keep the spirits from entering when placed above the entrance. Every time he tries to go outside and catch a ghost on tape, his motion tracking software keeps freezing, a sign that they are near. The spirits are waiting for him to remove the relic and let them back inside where they belong. He removes the stick and waits. They walk in through the front door. and he feels a rising horror as one passes through him. Oh, but unfortunately, his paranormal equipment continues to shut off just before the ghost sighting is caught on tape. 
Finally, when he gets it back on, a ghost appears in the dark hallway. There is nothing on the screen to mistake for a person, just total darkness, and yet the ghost hunting equipment identifies a mysterious shadow figure moving past, and when Tosachi returns to the window where he heard knocking noises before, he sees another full-fledged ghost figure in the window. At 19 minutes and 20 seconds, it stands in the hall, apparently glad to be allowed inside again. It climbs up to sit in the window and, at 19 minutes and 29 seconds, appears to wave hello. Scary, right? A student is doing some schoolwork on his computer. When somebody comes in and starts recording, they have a short conversation that's interrupted by a large figure standing in the darkened doorway behind them. The creature's head almost touches the ceiling, and its arms are so gigantic and long that they don't even fully fit in the camera frame. Its arms look long enough to pluck them from the couch and drag them to their doom. Fortunately for them, the two friends get away just in time and take off. They glance back for a moment only to find Slenderman silently regarding them from the top of the stairs. Now that you've seen this on video, I'm eager to hear if you think this was a real Slenderman sighting or just someone in a really good costume. Full respect goes to YouTuber Rex Travolta for somehow obtaining this cry out loud creepy CCTV footage of a haunted driving school in Puchong. A man goes into the building late at night to wait for his girlfriend for a late night meetup. Little does he know tonight's date is about to get cancelled for paranormal reasons. The computer monitor somehow turns on at the same time, and when he checks the wiring underneath, the screens briefly flash in unison. He runs out of there scared out of his mind, and that's when a ghost decides its work is done, as it shuts the door and pulls up a chair. The video looks paranormal at first, but I think it could be really good stop motion photography that you don't notice because the camera's been skipping frames the whole time. And as for the monitors, maybe the computers were already on and had some kind of screensaver on a timer to make it look like they went on at once. In wandering around this abandoned building, strange apparitions appear everywhere. Published by Clip Hantu, this scary video is like the Where's Waldo of creepy figures. See if you can spot them all. Notice this thing on the ledge wasn't there a moment before. It looks like a head of hair or a wig. In the next room, you see a dark figure in the corner. As the camera swings back, it's disappeared. And with the flashlight turned on, you can see the room is completely empty. In a kitchen area, there's a pot on the counter at first. Now there seems to be a split in the clip, but the next time we see the same counter, the creepy object has replaced it. That thing looks like a shrunken head. Have these items been placed? Or is this the world's worst treasure hunt? The first and third items do look to me like they were placed. There is a cut in the video in each of these instances, but that shadow figure, that's harder to explain, makes me think this place is truly haunted after all. It's a dreary and overcast day when a YouTuber named Sharby straps a GoPro on his head and heads into an abandoned graveyard with his friends. This eerie graveyard is surrounded by woods and is in the middle of nowhere, as Sharby puts it, and they are hoping to find some adventure. They are checking out old headstones and goofing off when a frightening discovery suddenly changes the mood. What? Is that a knife, dude? It appears to be a rusty old crowbar that was perhaps used to dig up graves. Both Sharby and his friend instantly get a bad feeling, and Sharby throws it to the ground, suddenly wanting nothing to do with the ancient object. They keep exploring and eventually come across a grave from 1811. The unshakable feeling of dread just won't go away and suddenly it begins to snow, which is very odd weather for October. 
Not too far away, they discovered a battered doll and get seriously freaked out by its mere presence. Okay, yo, let's get the f out of here, man. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, okay, that's it. Some branches snap in the nearby woods and they quickly flee before they can find out what was near them. A YouTuber named LaxRebel225 is playing a video game at home when he hears something loudly bust through the front door. He's frantically looking from room to room when finally he hears it making a racket again, this time from the kitchen. When he crosses into the kitchen, nothing is to be found. Instead, he hears it again from behind. I'm not sure why he stomps his foot here. If he's trying to scare the creature away, it doesn't work. Lax Rebel does a full circle around his home and ends up standing just outside of the kitchen again. He seems to get a bad feeling and hesitates. That's when this inhuman noise fills his house. <laughs> The creature seems to say something in a chittering language that almost sounds like an evil laugh. Then it leaves his home, shutting the door behind itself. Maybe I'm just overthinking, but the alien's voice sounds very high quality, like way too good for the average YouTuber to edit into their video with home equipment. As much as I don't want to admit it, I think this video could be real based on the creepy laughter alone. Still, I'd definitely like to know what you think after watching this video. I'm especially looking for the opinions of people who have experience with audio engineering. <laughs> the San Antonio Cemetery in Texas could be one of the scariest places in the world. To go exploring if this video is real, a ghost hunter from the Paranormal Journal stands in total darkness when some creepy things are caught on camera and despite the lack of light, what he experiences is downright terrifying. His paranormal equipment detects movement and then a single word crackles across the spirit box in an odd, staticky voice. He never shows us exactly where he positioned the motion detection equipment, so it could be detecting his movement or a gust of wind for all we know. But here's something weird. If you look closely, there is a strange phantom light at 29 seconds, the same moment that the motion detection alarm goes off that soon fades away. I would say there's another investigator, but I think that he might have been exploring the haunted cemetery all alone that night. If so, I have no idea what this light is, and even if it was a member of his team, that still doesn't explain the odd voice moments later that says hello. This person was hoping to have caught a fish on video, but instead they've caught a different creature altogether. Bats for days. Look, he's right there. He, dude, he flew right in my face. A bat is caught on camera flying, almost going into his mouth, and you can hear him spit in disgust. Look, he's right there. He, dude, he flew right in my face. This creepy bat encounter is beyond creepy, but it should be really alarming for two main reasons. One, a bat should be able to avoid people in wide open spaces with no problem, so this one was probably targeting him on purpose. Two, bats are nocturnal, so having one aggressively fly at you in the middle of the day could mean it has rabies. In other words, definitely not something you'd want to come in close contact with, especially not your open mouth. I really hope they're okay. A visit to the doctor's room for a quick medical checkup might be in order just to make sure. A life ceremony in France starts out normal enough until 7 minutes and 11 seconds when an object moves on its own like a ghost is about to throw it. The object levitates until the clergyman puts his hands down, at which point it stops. This happened on live TV in front of thousands, so someone tell me how it could be fake. Stranger still, a man in the audience claims to have seen a supernatural apparition in the dark doorway, a ghostly figure with a white face and hair who watches the ceremony from afar. 
The full version of this video has never been put online, to my knowledge, but this picture apparently shows the figure. I think there is a good chance that it is Photoshop, but it looks creepy and is worth mentioning. So if anyone out there is good with Photoshop, then let me know if this is a real picture, or if this scary face was edited. Here's another strange basement video that doesn't seem to have any good explanation besides the paranormal. A YouTuber named David's Ghost Cams has recently installed a brand new smoke and carbon monoxide detector that seems to be acting quite strangely. First of all, it only goes off when he is downstairs. Second, it tells him that the carbon monoxide levels are at 0%, which means it shouldn't be going off at all. Finally, it tells him to get out of his home. Okay, so we're gonna go downstairs. And I'm going to show you what happened the other night. Look what happens as soon as he steps foot in the basement. Keep in mind that this alarm has not gone off since the last time he went downstairs. There is obviously no smoke to speak of. This, combined with other weird happenings, has David convinced that his basement is quite haunted. David explains that he once had a house guest who stayed in the basement over three months before taking his life. Everyone was surprised. Ever since then, David has noticed things in the house moving around by themselves strange noises, and most recently, the faulty smoke alarm. Even stranger is that how, as soon as David starts talking about the smoke alarm again, it goes off on its own for a second time. The only explanation I have for this video is that somehow David is manually testing the smoke detector himself and blaming it on a ghost as a prank. However, all of the smoke detectors I've ever seen requires you to physically press a button. This one really does seem to be going off all by itself. This brings me to an interesting point. If David's house guest was a friend, then why would he be telling him to leave his home? Perhaps there is some sort of danger. Perhaps he is trying to warn David of a gas leak or an impending fire. I guess only time will tell. Security cameras often catch those creatures that we'd rather know nothing about. This is one of them. This video took place in Southern California. The uploader writes, This thing fell through the wood under the eave of my house and struggled for three hours until it fell. The vid starts where it happened in the daytime and then goes to the event. The uploader adds that whatever the creature is came out at the top right near the vent and it happened between midnight and 3.30 in the morning. The footage shows what appeared to be a tentacle-like object which appears and then disappears several times. The pointy end of it starts wiggling and it stretches out as if it's trying to reach the vent while the other end still attached to the wall. It does finally manage to acrobat over and get its head up in there. Then before you know it, it's squirming up into the vent, its tail waggling all over the place. It's then seen wrapping around a nearby pole before it climbs down the wall. Last seen on the ground at 3.30 in the morning. Looks like an acrobatic snake to me. Whatever the creature is, it's sure to keep you up at night. James Knees is a YouTuber who has been uploading for over three years now. Sometime in those three years, a 30-year-old man named Michael Lee becomes absolutely obsessed and begins soliciting him across a variety of social media platforms. The messages soon grow dark and talk about taking James from his home. He even sent messages to his mother saying, I'm going to take your son and other more creepy statements. Perhaps his most worrisome confession is when he admits that he has taken a nine-hour drive to their house more than one time. One day, James' parents see a man hanging around their house and call the police. He runs away, but the police set up a quick investigation. Investigators use James's phone to message Michael and convince him to come back to the house. When he comes back, he is taken into custody on the spot. Michael Lieb is eventually sentenced to probation with no time behind bars. Let me know if you think this is a fair and just verdict or not. A YouTuber named Jem Parks lost his grandmother over 10 years ago, but her spirit still appears to linger in her old empty property, which his family has maintained ever since her passing. 
Jem Parks timidly enters the house and crosses the living room, walking by her wooden rocking chair. Doors keep slamming shut wherever he goes. It's almost as if his grandmother wants her privacy, or maybe she is trying to keep him away from something she doesn't want him to see. Then, as Jem Parks turns a corner, he records this. A pale figure peers at him from the darkened doorway on the right. Here it is again if you missed it. The obvious explanation is special effects. But the answer no one, not even Jem Parks, wants to accept is that this could be the twisted incarnation of his grandmother. Is this just a smudge in the window? Or is this ghost watching you? Published by Korean channel Lonely Gang in July of 2019, this scary video was originally captured in August of 2013. The footage shows a cameraman walking alongside some abandoned buildings at night. The camera turns down an alleyway when up in the corner of the window. On one of the buildings is a ghostly face staring at him. A still shot of the window shows the creepy image up close, and it looks like a semi-transparent young man looking sideways out of the window. What is the identity of this ghost? Any guesses? All I can say is that whoever this is, it clearly wants people to stay far away from this building. For years, I've been seeing scary video after scary video of the same looking person peeping into the window with their hands blocking out the light. And I think I finally found the source. This Oh My Gosh TV video dates back to 2016, and in it, you can see a close-up of this creepy rubber head that you put up to the window to make it look like a stalker is peeking. It's supposed to be a practical joke that definitely freaks people out and gets the job done, as Omar's own wife couldn't tell it was fake. So I did some research and found out this is actually a prop called Scary Peeper that you can find at many stores online. It's years later and people still continue to copy the style of this video. So I just wanted to debunk the rumors. If you've ever seen a video on YouTube of a person looking into the window with their hands clumped to the glass in a very specific way, like this, you can rest assured knowing that the video is almost definitely a prank. Tyler Heitzen is bored in math class when he notices a ceiling panel going berserk all by itself. None of the other ones are moving except this one, though I can't say why. I know it can't be a fan blowing or anything like that because the Snapchat audio is very clear. Take a listen. If this is real, like he says, then I think it might be time for Tyler to transfer classes and maybe even schools. A YouTuber named Texas Savage has traces of paranormal activity left outside her bedroom door, or so she claims. Look at this part and tell me if you can see what she means. And if you can't see it, it's much more apparent in this next video of hers that I'm about to show. You can see it a bit better here, as she points out the individual fingers and notices the lack of a thumb. Here's one, here's one, and here's one, but there's no thumb. In this next video taken on a different day, you can get a better look at the handprints and see how long the fingers really were, far too big to be on her own. And since she claims to live alone, it can't be anyone else unless someone has been going into her bedroom without her knowing. On this day, she also finds some fresh scratches not too far from where the handprint is. And while inspecting the rest of her house, she finds two new marks at the bottom of her bathroom door that are perfectly aligned, almost 
almost like eyes. If you don't think this is real, then what do you think caused this? Just like all of the other markings, she can recall nothing happening in this room to make them appear overnight. Twin Paranormal is a channel started by two brothers, Ryan and River. They first encountered the paranormal when they and their parents moved into an old house in Reno, Nevada. Since then, they have been dedicated to finding answers. Since their channel started in April 2018, they gained 91.4k subscribers and have released hundreds of videos detailing their investigations. Their videos are of high production quality, resembling feature documentaries akin to ghost adventures. Furthermore, they have various series on the go pertaining to different themes. In January 2021, the crew of Twin Paranormal released their first series regarding family hauntings. By request, they came to the aid of the Kent family of Las Vegas. The couple have several objects in their home who belonged to passed away relatives, something they believe could be a link to the haunting. As explained by Nicole and her partner Matthew, her daughter has been speaking to unseen figures. She has been observed blowing kisses to the air and saying she is talking to someone named Lean. This has led to speculation she is speaking to Matthew's passed away grandmother, Colleen. Matthew explains he was close to his grandmother, but there was tension between her and Matthew's parents. Her passing had a profound negative impact on Matthew, and he descended into depression. Now, strange things are happening in the Kemp family home. Two pieces of memorabilia belonging to Colleen, including a pair of taxidermy longhorns, which she loved and cherished, and a sign reading Munchkin, which used to hang up in the bar she owned. Nicole discussed how the strange happenings were infrequent at first, but are now occurring several times a day. She also started developing severe anxiety shortly after moving in, resulting in panic attacks and at one point a seizure, despite never having them before nor having a history of epilepsy in the family. Furthermore, Nicole's son started sleepwalking, often having night terrors when happening. The crew starts off their investigation simply by introducing introducing themselves and asking a series of questions without equipment. Not long after this session begins. Can you make a noise in here for us? What, did you hear something? Yeah. A mysterious knock is heard from nearby. This proves some sort of intelligence and in what is haunting the home as it is right after the team asks for it to make a noise. Intrigued, Ryan puts on headphones to listen through a parabolic microphone and asks why the entity is here. A faint whisper can be heard, followed immediately by one of the team's devices going off. Unfortunately, it is hard to hear what is being whispered, or whether it was the device itself. Why is she the only one Religion. able to see you? Religion. As Ryan is asking why only the daughter can see it, the answer he gets doesn't make any sense. Ryan asks if it intends to hurt the family and warns if it is, then it isn't welcome. Are you here to hurt this family? Because if you are, then you are not welcome here. Oh my just got the chills. Through the EVP device, the team captures a thumb sound, like something dropped or was brushed against. Furthermore, the team starts to feel chills and a drastic shift in the energy of the home. Ryan soon gets another intelligent response when naming Nicole and Matthew out loud. After saying Matthew's name, a faint voice can be heard saying, yeah. Her boyfriend's name is Matt. The crew was able to hear it with their own ears and all visibly reacted to hearing it. Are you connected to Matt, Nicole's boyfriend? When asking if the entity is connected to Nicole or Matt, through the EVP, Ryan hears what sounds like, I can't. All this occurs within the first 10 minutes of the investigation. None of the crew's reactions come off as fake or forced, and all remain relatively calm throughout the first session, which makes these events quite believable in my opinion. Become a storm chaser or head to the cellar. This homeowner did both when the Cedar Rapids derecho storm blew 
flew into his neighborhood, published to YouTube by E. Hindman in August of 2020. This footage shows a quick as lightning storm roll in, one that devastated Iowa for hundreds of miles around. Hindman said he daringly took some footage of the storm out his window, setting up a camera there before safeguarding himself in the basement. What he captured was half an hour of one of the most brutal storms you'll ever see. The video shows the storm rile up ferociously, wind and rain whipping through while tree branches roll like tumbleweed down the road. At some point the trees are just being thrown full stop. The sturdy looking pine that stands in Hinman's front yard, which has made it this far, doesn't make it out alive. Its stump breaks clean in half and another larger tree falls across the yard. They are blown away with the others. Heinemann writes, The damage in this area of Iowa was like being hit by a 40 mile wide tornado. The storm took four lives, cut off power to nearly the entire city, contributed to the record tying $16 billion worth of weather damage that impacted the US last year, according to the Washington Post. What is hiding in this deep dark cave in Romania? This crew of adventure seekers is about to find out. Watch closely in the darkness. <laughs> What is that lump? It looks like an animal sleeping. The guys appear scared of the mysterious creature, and they start to make their way out of the cave. Their camera goes berserk. Did they just escape from the cave creature of Romania Borsec? Personally, I think this was just a trick of the light, but I still get the chills from this clip. I'm staying far away from caves either way. Bell Tower Bat lives in a haunted hotel that's built upon a series of tunnels that are haunted as well. So she decides to go ghost hunting with the TikTok app and see what reality Ripple shows her. The first thing she notices are a couple antique bottles that seem to have a ghost attached to them. It's an all black aura that is far different from the psychedelic colors that are usually displayed. Now it's time to leave her room and see what else her ghost hunting app has to show her. She doesn't see anything for the rest of the video until she gets to the very last haunted hallway. <laughs> A ghostly shadow figure looks at her down the hall and sends her the other way. The reality ripple is still on, so if this was a living person, it should be an orange or purple color. Instead, the shadow person is devoid of color, so either this video was edited, or else it's a real ghost sighting on TikTok. A supposedly real ghost sighting was caught on dashcam video by VBO Life while exploring one of the most haunted places in Delhi. It happens fast, so watch closely or you'll miss the scary stuff. An apparition appears in front of them and they get freaked out, or so it seems. Slow it down and at 8 minutes and 22 seconds you'll see the spirit is supposed to be in front of the car, but the very bottom of its dress accidentally clips into the hood. So while this video's creepy, I can also safely say it's not real. Is that a hula hoop? Posted to TikTok by Camilo Rodriguez, a dark ring looks like it's burnt into the sky above. The mysterious video was captured in Colombia on March 6, 2022. After searching for some explanation, I couldn't find any for this specific ring, but I have found that it's not unique. One appeared over Pakistan in 2020 and is thought to have been caused by a small combustion blast through a circular structure. Again, one in Britain in 2014. This was traced back to a fireworks test. And finally, over Chicago in 2012, this one traced to the rupture of an electrical transformer. So while this may look like an ominous vortex to misery, I guess it's actually an ominous vortex of mystery. Basements are built to house all the evils of the world. 
This basement is no exception. Published by YouTuber Mr. Vujade in February of 2012, this frightening basement monster will scare the living daylights out of you. The short clip sees our protagonist heading downstairs into a creepy dark basement. As he slowly searches the space, it appears empty. Apart from a few piles of storage items, some bicycles, the usual suspects in a basement. But then suddenly he turns which is when he is confronted by this. I'm never going down there again, the YouTuber writes. Who can blame him? I don't think I could ever work up the courage to explore that basement. A YouTuber named Jake Carlini and his friends all want to experience creepy randonautica moments, so they summon the scariest thing that comes to mind, forest clowns. We're all gonna think about clowns. The app takes some random nodding to a scary location in the woods that creeps them out even in broad daylight. A bird calls overhead, but listen closely, and you'll hear creepy noises coming from deeper in the woods. Do you guys hear that? Circus music, to be precise. I hear circus music. Oh my god. It's not like an ice cream truck would be driving out here, so there's no reason for scary sounds to be playing in the middle of the woods. They leave before they can get a clown sighting on video, but maybe they'll go exploring there again one day. A YouTuber named Ghost Chic believes she has a problem in her home of the paranormal variety. One day her dog just starts patrolling the living room, as if on guard even though there is nothing out of the ordinary and no strange noises. I'm wondering if it is annoyed by something on television, or at something we can't see standing there. Then it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Whatever it is, he seems satisfied that it's gone for now. But then he tries to track it. Meanwhile, notice how the smaller dog doesn't seem to care at all. Is everything okay? It's definitely weird, although maybe it could have just been a bug or something. But still, that doesn't explain how, on a different day, both of her dogs get up to see who's at the door. The door opens and I think I might see a shadow pass through, though it could be the outside light. As soon as she's coming in to see what's wrong, the barely discernible orb passes overhead, unseen to her at the time but caught on camera nonetheless. And when she later goes ghost hunting using a Kinect in the same room, she detects a spirit by the window. I want to pan so you can see that there's no one else over there with her. No one's on my curtain. Then, something eerie happens. So is this a paranormal encounter? Or is this person waving their hand at 38 seconds, also moving it with their hand during this part? I'll let you decide. Oh, oh my god, this is so gross. I'm trying to look it up everywhere and I really can't like identify it because it looks so weird and different. A YouTuber named Supa Tanks has a creepy unwelcomed guest in her aquarium and needs our help figuring out what it is, someone commented that this looks like a highly toxic centipede that fell in, but Super Tank thinks that this might be an aquatic based life form responsible for eating her shrimp. I agree with the giant insect theory because of its many legs and cylinder shaped body, but maybe it's an exotic parasite or something even worse. Let's help solve this mystery and put her mind at ease with a correct answer. Central State Insane Asylum in Indianapolis has many secrets. Published to YouTube by D Holmes12345 in October of 2006, this is an orb video. But hold up, don't change the video. While a lot of the times orbs caught on video appear to be faint and dust like, this one is different. The large glowing orb is seen behind a fence at the end of a walkway. The orb hovers and then starts floating to the right. As the man filming backs away, startled, some in the comments are all in, saying this is what a legit orb looks like. Others are convinced it's a light reflecting off of something. Others note that, while you're distracted by the orb, something peeks out at the door at the beginning of the video. 
Watch again, do you see it? Considering these two figures appear in just 14 seconds of video, it's pretty clear this asylum is a hotspot for paranormal activity. The National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration aircraft took advantage of flying through Hurricane Irma to show us by taking this horrifying video of the storm outside. As the aircraft flew through the Atlantic Ocean's most powerful hurricane ever recorded, it gained vital information of the storm's path using drop sensors as well as measuring the storm's intensities via radar readings. Irma may landfall in the Caribbean. Hurricane winds and rains whipped the airplane as it stood in the midst of Irma's power, but slowly the clouds lightened and the blue sky could be seen while the rain ceased. The contrast shows the magnitude and absolute power of a hurricane at full throttle. A group of friends see a stranger leave the woods in a hurry. They think it's odd and make a video. Andy caught someone coming out of the tunnel. Uh, pretty creepy, pretty scary. So. Oh, bro, what's that smell? Oh, it's rank. Can you smell that? Guys, it literally flies all over the place. Oh, bro, could you smell that? That stinks, bro. Oh, nasty, man. In the tunnel, they find a white sheet covered in red with a very distinct human outline underneath, and this is their reaction. <coughs> that stinks. <coughs> Man, that was grim. I wouldn't even right ring the police. Crazy as anything. Having this happen would be really scary. We need to ring the police. What? We need to ring the police. Have you got a phone? No, I've not got a phone. Have you, you got phone, one? Bro. Hey, can I have police, please? One minute you're hanging out with your friends, and the next moment you're all suspects. Yeah, I've just found, uh, just been exploring with me, and we've just found a body. Bill and Lisa have a problem at home that's not the average couple's quarrel. Bill keeps seeing movement in the house, so he sets up an infrared camera system to catch it on tape. This narrow figure glides across their dark doorway at night. Here it is again from another angle, an imp-like figure roughly the size of a child moving towards the stairs. It enters their master bedroom next. It's not tall but looks powerful. And a short while later the shadow figure runs down the stairs and out the door. This is most likely special effects, but there is one reason it could be real. Infrared technology is designed to detect heat. So when something is purple, like this shadow figure, it means it's detecting the absence of heat. In other words, the passing chill of something that is in the shape of a human. Bill also claims to have been followed by this shadow figure, despite moving to a new location. So tell me if this video is enough to make you believe him. Reddit, the origin of all things internet creepy. Redditor Kiaha alleges that the link to this video was emailed to her, recently writing, I have no idea where this tape came from, but it truly does scare me. The video is titled simply One Sept and was uploaded to YouTube by Igor ASD. It shows what appears to be an abandoned building, being explored in the dark with a flashlight. After a bit of meandering, the shot comes across a sign that says in Russian, museum work, along with a schedule, likely listing the museum's opening hours. Around two and a half minutes into the video is where the true creepiness happens. A shadowy figure appears in the shot of a doorway across a dark room. It walks through the doorway and the camera's light goes dark. The screen goes blue. After this, a series of images of a building appear, footage through a peephole, and the film's final image, a still figure in front of a glowing monitor. What is this piece? Could it be found footage? What do you think it is? I think it's certainly scary. Mysterious rare creatures walk this earth, and most of us will never get a chance to see them. Until now. Shared by YouTuber Satpam Horror, this creature is known as a parakang in Indonesian. And this is what it sounds like. Wow. 
If this isn't some expert makeup, then I am 100% terrified. The sound coming from this creature also makes my skin crawl. Its glowing eyes and small sharp teeth look demonic. One thing's for sure, I would never search for this creature. Twins and paranormal investigators Kim and Roxy from a channel called Twin Travel 03 go ghost hunting at the Stanley Hotel in Napanoke, New York. Their ghost hunting app seems to constantly activate when held over one of the creepy dolls. The other two dolls, although creepy, don't seem to set it off at all. Nothing. Nothing. This little lady. Kim and Roxy also get a strange paranormal readout in a closet that even one of the employees finds strange enough to comment on. An old time phone. There is no phone, but we still hear it ring. And you're getting a K2 pin, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I just did. Huh. And when they tell the ghost to take a step back, it seems to obey their commands. Back away so it goes down to single, single green. Thank you. But the creepiness is only just beginning. Can you move the ball, please? Oh my God, I have chills. Can you move the ball, please? It's moving, thank you. If you are not a believer of the paranormal, then tell me how this can happen with a kid's toy that is filled with nothing more than air. Again, please. Richard Griebnick recorded this creature from inside his home over the summer of 2017. He is on the phone calling a friend named Mike for help while a large, hunched over white humanoid prowls around his backyard. The gargoyle, as Richard describes it, seems to sniff the air from time to time, almost as if it can detect someone's presence nearby. It certainly has the build of a predator, but for some reason it seems hesitant to move forward. If you were wondering why Richard would call his friend instead of the police, I was thinking the same question. But soon it becomes clear that Mike knows how to handle this situation better than anyone. The humanoid creature convulses as Mike unleashes a string of words in an ancient sounding language I have never heard before. If you recognize what is being said here and can translate, please let me know. After Mike is finished speaking, the creature sulks off into the forest where it came from. The event looks very convincing, but I wish that Richard could have zoomed in a little more so we could have gotten a closer look. If this is real though, then he was probably way too scared to worry about camera work, so I definitely understand and still fully appreciate what he was able to record. A YouTuber named Stephanie Famelli hears screaming coming from her daughter's school bus. Multiple kids shouting at the top of their lungs, not necessarily for help, but completely terrified from the sound of it. The driver is shouting something back at them, but to no avail. She creeps up on them without making a sound, but just when Stephanie is about to see for herself what the screaming is all about, the bus suddenly pulls away around the corner, kids yelling all the while. Bye bye bus. Okay. According to her daughter, the kids were screaming that for no reason other than to make the driver mad. But we all know that sometimes kids will make up stories when the truth is too uncomfortable to say. And considering the bus driver was replaced soon after, who knows what was really happening in there. A YouTuber named Revo X encounters a wild pheasant in the graveyard that is not at all afraid. The colorful bird looks over its shoulder to make sure he is watching, and then takes the lead, guiding him someplace quite important that I'll reveal in just a moment. It hops off the road, and at 1 minute and 8 seconds, walks this little beaten trail of matted grass. Have you ever seen anything like it before? That's been trampled over many times before. The determined little bird stops and circles back to the human, again showing absolutely no signs of fear. It even looks straight at him, at the end like it knows what is being said. There's my mum's grave. And it will remain. 
as it has done for the past few days, going round and round it. So is this a real spirit guide or just a pet? Some Native Americans believed pheasants to be a sign of protection and concealment because they like to bury themselves in tall grass, a creepy behavior when taken within the context of a graveyard. They can be tamed, but even if this is a pet, I don't think you can teach it to lead you somewhere for over a minute, and I never see it get a food treat as a reward or anything, so I think it's real. Someone is watching in the woods, published by Mr. Horror. This short clip shows a group hanging out in the forest and what looks like the ruins of an abandoned structure. As the camera turns from the surrounding trees to the building, it captures something creeping around the door frame. The mysterious figure is but a flash, and its features are indistinct. It quickly pulls out of view. The cameraman hurries forward, revealing a campfire built outside to the right, but it looks like the creature is long gone. What was it? Are they being stalked by the unknown? It sure looks that way to me. Winter time should be relatively snake free, yet here one is slithering across the ice in the middle of February. The cold blooded reptile somehow crosses the frozen pond and then moves towards the camera with slow determination. I'm not sure what type of snake this is or how it's able to survive these low temperatures. My guess is it was probably hibernating somewhere and got disturbed, but either way, a snake of this size is nothing to mess with no matter what the season. This video was taken somewhere on Kent Island in Maryland. If there are any more winter snake sightings in this area, then I'd say something strange is definitely going on over there. Blake Smith's Gaming Blitz has a haunted basement which I analyzed a while ago. Now the ghost has moved upstairs and other family members are starting to take notice. Some people claim to see a face peering between the blinds, but I think it's a reflection. Can you see that? Please tell me you see that. See what? It move? But forget about the window. Tell me what's going on with her backpack. It looks normal at 7 minutes and 3 seconds. Then she looks up, coughs, and suddenly it looks like a face. A face that only becomes clearer and rounder, more defined over the next 15 seconds. That on video, Nee! I got it on video! A final rustling noise somewhere in the room freaks them both out and makes me wonder if they really are being watched by a little ghost girl who's all too near. Okay, think of this scary video as a what would you do type situation. A woman named Letitia Patterson is walking back to her car when a strange man who is acting beyond creepy in my opinion begins to follow her. She lets him know that he's caught on camera and the video gets more outrageous from there. Hold on, I'm about to record you because if something happened to me, they gonna have you on camera. That's right. Somebody come get their uh, family funny. member. That's right. Following me. I think capturing his weird behavior on tape is the right move, but showing him where she parked is not the safest decision. She could have walked away to get help, but I guess she felt like she was going to take control of the scary moment, and so she overcomes her fears and confronts the stranger, getting more bizarre video on camera for us to analyze. <laughs> yep, bye. The strange man attempts to get her to laugh it off, playing off his aggression as harmless flirting, but he is not respecting her boundaries, which to me is beyond creepy, and a major warning sign that she should get away fast. He follows around her car for a bit, and then he's standing by her door when the creepy encounter takes another bizarre turn. I don't even know you. Hey, delete that camera. I'll grab that phone from you. Look, delete that on camera, please. Well, can you get away from my car? Yeah, but Delete that I'll delete it as soon as I see you start walking that way. But the mysterious man walks towards her instead, closer than ever as you can see at 1 minute and 27 seconds, and she realizes by now that he isn't going away, and that this scary moment could escalate if she doesn't get help. Hey y'all call 911, this guy just followed me around the store. I think asking a stranger to call 911 was the right decision. 
because he could have taken the phone out of her hands if she stopped recording him. The camera is a good deterrent, and also she needs to continue to record evidence. Police investigators haven't found him yet as far as I know, but check this part out. I think he says his name here at 7 seconds. She's talking at the same time, but tell me if you can understand what he says. They gonna have you on camera. That's right. Somebody come get their uh, family fun. member. At least one other woman claims to have had a similar creepy experience with a scary stranger. So the evidence seems to suggest that he could be terrifying people just for fun. Freaky, right? A YouTuber named Jonathan Russo is renovating a room in his home. When he discovers something out of place, he taps on a bottom portion of the wall and it sounds hollow, so he cuts away a hole. And I find a hidden room underneath the house. The space is lined with old bricks and carries an ominous and foreboding atmosphere. Jonathan feels very out of place and doesn't stay for long. It is pretty creepy. The room itself appears to have no structural purpose and seems to be walled off for no reason. This, combined with Jonathan's reluctance to go any further, raises some questions. I wonder what happened in there, if anything, that would cause a previous owner to seal it away. Here's a question for this video. Human or mutant? Published by Mr. Illusion. I truly hope that this is an illusion. The scary video shows a creature with a very human-like face curled up on the floor. Its body, however, is not human. It's small and extremely hairy with hooved limbs and sharp talons. I wouldn't want to run into this horror in the wild, and I'm pretty sure 83% of people wouldn't either. Only 17% can handle it. A YouTuber named Brett Johnson says there is a ghost in the hallway of his house haunting him every night when he returns from work, and what's most bizarre is that the paranormal activity only happens in the hallway. The ghost doesn't seem to care about haunting any other places. It's not a draft either. Even with a big fan blowing the opposite way, a ghost still closes the door, and when he puts his camera down and waits for two hours, the door behind the fan mysteriously opens. It's like the ghost is messing with his mind. I would say that this is a fake video except for one thing. When he investigates the rest of his house to show us, nothing is there. A weird noise happens nearby, like something passes right by him, and it seems to have left through the front door. When you're watching a poker tournament, the most drama you're expecting is an upset, a rookie beating out a world champ, but in 2010, viewers were in for an even more dramatic and frightening treat. The European Poker Tour Tournament in Berlin was hijacked by armed men live on air. Not only did they pull off their heist, but they took home 242,000 euros. Although no one was seriously hurt, panic ensued and the crowd went berserk before the cameras were cut. Don't worry, the robbers were taken into custody and convicted shortly after. Their sentence, a mere three years locked up. Every child has an imaginary friend, but this one is not so imaginary. Posted to TikTok by Elkakoi.tv, a father enters his daughter's room around 7 p.m. as she laughs uncontrollably with someone. As the father rounds the corner, he says his daughter's name. Then he spots this figure peering out from behind her. He rushes over to find no one there, and his daughter looks as though she's in a trance that he can't shake her out of. What is going on? here. While many in the comments admit this is too creepy, commenter X Gamer Mama X sums up my feelings. She writes, well, I won't be sleeping today. Hey, me.
baby. This scary highway encounter would have easily gone unnoticed forever, if not for a dash cam recording. Pay attention to the bottom right and you'll see a blurry figure slip under the car in a matter of seconds. Pause the video and you'll see the undeniable outline of a girl from the waist up. She appears to be wearing a white dress and staring ahead with a grey face. I guess this could be light reflecting off of the pavement. But this also really does look like the outline of a person who is once living. Maybe every so often they appear in the exact same location where they sadly lost their life years ago. A YouTuber named Fanatic is fishing in Louisville, Texas when he snags something so rotten it makes him gag. Inside of the bag is a scary discovery that forces Fanatic to call the police. And I pulled the bag up and it had some type of bones in it. I don't know if they're animal bones or human bones or if they're... The entire 911 conversation is recorded and a police officer shows up to investigate, so there is absolutely no doubt that this video is legit. They take the bags of bones away for evidence and as far as I know, the lab results have never been made public. Is this phantom nurse here to heal you or to hurt you? Published by Luan Mendez in May of 2020, Luan and his crew are exploring an abandoned hospital whose staff has hasn't really left, wandering the halls. They seem to turn down one hallway, where they seem to spot something skulking in the darkness. The thing must have disappeared, so they move on, continuing in their search, and that's when they see her, Nurse Ratchet. They race away as fast as they can, and one of the crew falls unexpectedly to the ground. It almost looks like he was clotheslined by something invisible. The crew manages to make it out of the hospital alive, and that's no thanks to the creepy phantom nurse. What lives in the high grass? This scary video will reveal its nature. Published by 8208 in April of 2021, this creepy footage shows a creature with long dark hair crawling on all fours out of the brush and onto a dirt road. The skull-like face of the mysterious creature is incredibly frightening. It crouches down low, but it's unclear what it's doing. While you may think it just seems like a person on all fours, in another clip, the cameraman captures the creature from the side. Its back curves downward in a distorted and inhuman way. Its eyes also glow red. This clearly isn't human, but is it a demon? Sure seems like a possibility to me. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.